Hey everyone, today we're going to paint a sweet pea using watercolors for our April flower challenge day two. If you're not familiar with the challenge, go ahead and check out the link down below. I'll give you a little bit more information and you are welcome to join us day one, day two, day three, all the way to day seven. Uh, feel free to use any medium and just start practicing some flowers because flowers are tough. Hello everyone, you guys ready for day two? We are doing a sweet pea today for day two and if you're not familiar this was the one i finished yesterday day one flower challenge was a daisy and we're actually doing seven days and each day is a different flower so you're welcome to join the challenge it's not too late if you uh, missed yesterday you can start today or you could feel free to do the daisy from yesterday as well but today is a uh, sweet pea and i'll put in the description information if you guys uh want to see a little bit more information about the challenge. So whoops, I'm gonna go pull up my Procreate and I sketched in, it's upside down. I sketched in a little sweet pea just from doing a little bit of research online. I could not find one on Unsplash this time. So I just looked at them, a few different um, pictures that I found and then I did my own thing and all right so I have sketched that onto my watercolor paper and I did find this really pretty one from Unsplash so we're going to use this one as just a little bit of a reference. Flowers are not my specialty for sure so I this is total practice for me and I did find um, some pictures I didn't really 100% like them <laughs> but if you look up under unsplash.com this is one of the the pictures I'm gonna actually lose um, I think I only have 13% left in here for my or actually less than that 8% left so I'll probably lose the photo but I think I'm gonna do similar shades of color as we did yesterday with the daisy maybe add a little bit of that purpley pink in there and we're gonna make this one simple I might again do a little pen and ink with a sharpie I don't know we'll see how this turns out okay Again, so really uh, just a very fresh, light, airy type of painting. And I'm going to dive right into those beautiful little petals. So I'm going to mix up. Do I want to do gray? I think I want to just do a little bit of the gray blue, maybe a little bit of the red with this. Let's see if we can get a really pretty mixing right in my palette here. I do this a lot. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I never clean them out. I think I said that yesterday <laughs> because I could just pretty much take and mix from there. So I'm going to got a little bit mixed up there. I'm just going to add some water to this first and I'm going to leave the edges of this plain because if you look some of those little spots hit like a bright white. I'm not going to do the little uh, dew drops on here either because I want this just to be a quick little demo that um, we're just practicing. Yesterday's went a little bit longer than I originally anticipated, so, but that's okay. I think it's gonna be a little bit too much red. Let's go back to this blue and see if we can soften that a little bit. There, now we get some deep purples in there, kind of a purpley gray shade. And you'll notice I'm just letting the water do its thing, so we'll see how this dries again. You guys, flowers is not what I normally paint, so I find this a, that's why I call it a challenge. It's a fun challenge. And I want to go too dark on all of this, so again, just dabbing in a little bit of water. And adding just a little color here and there. So this is, this will be a nice quick one. Oops. little wet there. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the greenery underneath too. So we'll leave a little space for the green. And this one here. Let's add a little bit more wood to that one. Oh, that's pretty. And we'll go right into this one. Oh, it's nice and light. Very light. And you can see, you just see a little color in there. I wanted to have these ones go a 
little bit more with this one, so I don't want it to be too dark. Now remember with watercolor, once this dries, it will dry lighter. So keep that in mind. No, I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my brush, wiping that off and making it more of a dry brush and I'm sucking up some of that paint. So I can do that if I have a dry brush. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna take the heat gun again. If you didn't see yesterday's, I'm just using a quick little heat tool. Again, it just really speeds it up and it's not quite as loud as a blow dryer. And it's a little bit warmer, so. Let's be careful, see, I can actually blow that paint right off of there because I've got a good puddle, which I don't wanna do. blow drying it. Oh, by the way, again, I'm using the nine, no, 10 inch round uh, squirrel brush. This is a faux squirrel brush from Zen Art. These are the new ones that they sent in. And I really like these brushes. They, they're watercolor brushes and they come in a little set. And I do have them linked in my Smart Bio as well. So they um, sent these to me to try out and I, I really like them. All right, so I'm going to go with a little bit of this green I already have in here. I don't know if that, no, that stem is from a tree. looks like from something else. I'm just going to carefully just paint in my little stem. And I'm using just the very tip of that brush. If I put too much pressure down on that, I'm not going to get that nice thin line. Just add a little bit of this blue to it. So this is already started. It's pretty dry. So I'm not getting much movement in there. Let me show you what I'm gonna mean. Let's go, I think we'll do this one. We had a little bit of gouache in there from yesterday. See how you can tell it's a little bit more opaque. Now let's try see if we can add just a touch of that blue and see if we can get some other shade in there. There we go. That's what I was going for up here. So let's try that again. And a little bit of blue. This blue I think is the I think it's the blue that's in here. Yeah. I think it's that cobalt blue that we've got in the Cotman kit, which is the same kit I used yesterday as well. I'll probably use that all week. Just easy. And remember, if you are a person that loves alcohol inks or oils or acrylics, any medium, you can use whatever you whatever you want. It doesn't have to be watercolor. So we'll see how how light or how dark that dries. Got a little battery. This one's gonna be a little bit more blue. So I already have it on my brush. Let's see if we can darken that a little bit. And you see I just tap it. I mean I let I let the paints do their thing. Like right here, it's probably I could probably could have had that even more wet. I like that wet look. Look at that little bead of water. I'll suck it right up. So I'm just gonna add some water to that. Add the green right in there. Get a little bit of that blue again. So we can get some of that to follow down in there. There we go. So because I had that wet, see how that now just followed that line right down into there. last one here. I might make this one a little bit brighter. It seems pretty light. Or 
yellow racy pencil lines on there. This little one. Let's go a little darker. Maybe add a little viridian green to it. Again, just so they're not all the same color. Oops, I forgot that one. All right, I ran out of video room space on my iPhone. So I'm finishing up. This is pretty much dry. And these are really light, so I am thinking that I might do I want to I might do some darker in there. I think I'm gonna switch to the smaller smaller brush though. No, I don't know how to do this with a big brush. Get me changing my mind everywhere. Let's see if I can get a nice purple going. too muddied. All right. I think it's because I have this uh, cobalt blue in there and just not getting that nice and vibrant shade of purple. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to go in with ultramarine blue. Boy, that's just pretty in itself, isn't it? This looks like it's got a little purple hue to it. And a little bit of the Wizard and Crimson. That's better. All right, I'm going to try. Let's go with this one since this one's so dark anyway. I'm going to just re wet some of that area and see if I can tap in a little bit of this. I like that. What do you think? Let's do the same here. And I don't want a lot. Just want a little. That might be a little too much water. Let's lift a little bit of that out. And that's because I'm adding more here. Just a little. And then a little darker here. I could even make another petal over here if I wanted to. Let's try that on this side. What do you think? Better. Don't need this right here though. I might actually make another petal on this one. Just coming out this direction. There. Alright, let's dry that. Let's see what we think. And just a thought, these ones here, you can see that they're all wet and have those little dew drops all over them. It's probably why they're laying down. He's got a lot of weight of that water on him. Okay. And then, uh, let's see. I think this is all dry. If I wanted to do just a few little pen and ink, I can follow this along. I always like a little pen and ink. Again, not, not too much, but just a little. I don't know if you can hear my son, he's in there just whistling away. He's taught himself how to play chess. And I haven't played it in so long, so he's having me play with him. And let's just say I lost big time. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> like 20 years since I played chess. Okay. Um, let's try and see if we can get some of these little lines erased. I don't always do this. Sometimes I do. Where's my little brush I had yesterday? Here we go. Give me an illusion as to where the rest of that flower is. Okay, my little pen and ink. So that's not my sweat pea, it's my sweet pea. Sweets, two E's, right? <laughs> oh, let's see, let's put it down here. All right, you guys, so there's day two. Make sure you click that like button if you enjoyed it and don't forget to post yours in my Instagram or on my Instagram page. You can use the hashtag flower challenge KC. And then don't forget to tag at Kelly Chassie underscore fine art on Instagram in your stories. And um, I would love to share some of your work on my page as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tomorrow is the rose. Oh, that's going to be a big challenge for me. Roses are my nemesis. Um, so stick around for that. And Again, you can take a look at yesterday's video where we did the daisies if you like. I'll link that up here in the description box on top as well as below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for day three.